How do you define a team? With wins? With championships? Or maybe it's something else. How close we are. Like everybody on our team is like brothers. We're all close knit. Jared tripped the leg! At Kettle Falls High School, they're not known for state championships, but for the Bulldogs wrestling team, they're a team unlike any in the state. Right there, grab the head! That's simply because of one wrestler, Eric Page. He's a captain. Uh... Eric is just so positive in everything he does. Eric has been on the wrestling team for three years now at Kettle Falls, and over that time, it's been his work ethic that speaks for itself. Eric can do more push-ups than anybody on my team. Constantly he's working in the wrestling room, never complains, just goes, goes, goes. That go, go, go mentality has always been with Eric. It's part of what has pushed him to this point in life. He just wanted to be normal. Born prematurely at 27 weeks, Eric has faced more challenges in 20 years than many will face in a lifetime. Basically, he's had four brain operations because he has a, um, an intracranial shunt. But that's just the start. Diagnosed with cerebral palsy, Eric has gone under three leg operations. He couldn't walk until age 10 and will have to use a walker the rest of his life just to get around. But through all that, there's been one thing fueling him the whole way. He couldn't wait to get back to the team. I mean, even uh, physical therapy, yeah, you couldn't keep him down. Go out, get rest like bulldogs. We don't treat him any different. Uh, Eric's just another part of our team, and, uh, I, you know, these kids would, would go to war for him. Uh, I want to say thank you for, for letting me wrestle over the years. For three years now, Eric has been practicing and training with his teammates, but due to his condition, he's never wrestled in a match. He's always wanted to wrestle and he never had the chance. But all that changed on one Wednesday night in January. Tonight for, for Kettle Falls Wrestling is, is all about Eric Page. It's a life dream for him because this is my last chance. My last chance to do something. Part of Kettle Falls duel against Selkirk. Tonight, Eric will score off against team captain Garrett Anderson for Eric's first and last match of his career. I think he knows that he deserved it. Like, he knows that he's worked hard and he always tells us how hard he works and knows that he deserves a win. Come here, Eric. Come here. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Good job. Good job. I'm going to miss you. And now what? And now we're going to carry you off the mat. Get on Garrett's back. Come on, buddy. Good job. Eric Page finished his wrestling career undefeated. But tonight's match wasn't just about giving him an opportunity. It was Kettle Falls' way of saying goodbye. He's a very inspirational part of our team, and it's going to be tough to see him go. Good job, buddy. I'm going to miss you. Yeah, good job. I'm proud of you. Yeah. I'm proud of you, bud. Yeah. Eric will move to Spokane in February to live in a group home, leaving behind a place that has always felt like home. I'm going to miss him. I had a good three years with him. But even though he'll soon be saying goodbye to Kettle Falls, his impact has already been felt. They do have abilities, not disabilities. It, um, they just do things in different ways. But if they have the drive and the tenacity, they can do whatever they want. And that's pretty much what he is proving. 
That's the power of team. Alone you are limited, but working together, you can accomplish much greater goals. Uh, thank you for letting me be on the team. And stuff, I wanted to be on the team. I loved it in my own heart. Yeah. It's a team that won't be the same without Eric, but a team that Eric will always be a part of. <laughs>